My sense in Canada, Toronto was locked down very badly and people were pretty much on board with it. And my sense in, in Toronto was that 70% of Torontonians would have worn a mask for the rest of their life without making a peep about it. And 30% of them would have been happy about it because it gave them an opportunity to inform on their neighbors. Oh. And that wasn't cute. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, well, in East Germany, like one third of people were, were government informers. Absolutely. And you think, well, that couldn't happen here. It's like, yeah, it could the, in about uh, 15 minutes. Yes, the Stasi mm -hmm. payroll. Did you ever see the movie, The Lives of Others? Mm -hmm. The German, it won the best Oscar yeah. for best foreign language. Yeah, there's a fun society to live one in. One of the best movies. I mean, if you're looking for something with subtitles, I would recommend that one highly, people, The the Lives of Others. And it was about, yes, what went on in under communist East Germany. And yeah. somebody, he was, he was a playwright and he was playing ball with the regime. He was kind of on the, you know, a line. He was able to be an artist, but obviously he wasn't. And what they did with the bugging and the, oh my God, it was how how humans can get themselves into those kind of societies. And I suppose we could. You do it by lying. You know, I mean, people think that tyr tyranny is a top down, is the top down, Im top down imposition of force on people who would otherwise want to be free. And that's just not true. That isn't how it works at all. A totalitarian state occurs when everyone lies about absolutely everything all the time. And the totalitarian state is the grip of the lie. Now, the politicians and the people who have power in those situations, they lie too, but so does everyone else. Now, there's a story, it's interesting, I, I've been writing a new book, it's coming out in February, it's called We Who Wrestle With God, and I've been writing about um, Sodom and Gomorrah and the threat of the destruction of the city. And so the idea is that if if a city deviates from the appropriate moral path too blatantly, then all hell will break loose. Of course, that begs the question of what constitutes the appropriate moral pathway. But um, Abraham intercedes with God on behalf of Sodom and Gomorrah. And he says, first of all, that if there are 40 people, he says, well, you can't destroy the city when he's talking to God. You can't destroy the city. There's some good people there. And God says, yeah, well, I don't, I don't think there's very many. And, and, and Abraham says, well, what if there's 40? And God says, well, if you can find 40 decent people, then we'll leave the city alone. And Abraham bargains and bargains, and I think he bargains them down to 10. And, <laughs> which is quite good, you know, because, you know, God's willing to give in. But it, but it means something very specific as far as I'm concerned. It means something like if, if in a political unit there's still 10 people who are willing to tell the truth, then all hell will not break loose. That's enough. Ten people who actually tell the truth is enough to stave off the descent into totalitarian chaos. That's why comedians are so bloody important, right? Because they can, they do say what's true, and you can tell it's true, and you can tell that people believe it's true because people laugh, and you can't, you can't really fake that. It's genuine. Well, then you are an honorary comedian because hey. you do it. Yeah, but people no, you just do laugh it. at me, not <clears throat> with me. No, no, no. Well, yes, you're not a comedian, but... You are Canadian, so you're halfway there. Well, right, yes, you know. yes. But you are, no, you don't, <clears throat> you do not give. And and it's, and again, this is what I was trying to say before about you being a Canadian professor. It's like so delicious that you're the thumb in their eye because it's so much harder to argue with somebody like that because it's this person that they think, they should be on our well, side. Right, definitely. Canadian academic. I know, how and, much more milk toast can you possibly get and, than a Canadian milk professor? milk toast, but, but liberal <clears throat> and erudite and sophisticated and all the things we want to think we are, and yet he's not getting on the crazy train with us.